Hi everyone. We all have VST plugins that we love and have used in our various creations in our studio applications and now we can assign them to our guitar. Here we can put up to four different VSTs on each of the six strings of the guitar. Uh, each string could have a different VST if you like. Here's a nice overdrive. <laughs> Of course, you can open up, modify the parameters of the VST, and save it. And uh, once you've saved it, you can copy it down. I'll show you that here. We'll add another uh, delay. We're going to open it up a little bit. I'm going to give it a little more delay time here. Get the mix right. So now we're going to copy that down, and we have it on all strings. Very easy to do. You would save that in your preset and you would be good to go. I'd like to show you the uh, wonderful modulation scheme that we've created for you. I'm going to go to number eight here. So bend to spin cycle. So what happens here is we're going to take the bending of the guitar string and map it to the speed of the Leslie. Let's listen to that first. <laughs> We have here the ability to see the speed. We're going to do a mod assign. So we now have the speed here set to 26, and you can see that in the assignment. Then we're going to go back and open up our modulation. We'll look at string three. String three vibrato. You can watch that number change now as I vibrato. So as I bend up, speed up here changes. I have a little bit of uh, slew, which smooths it out, about half a second here. You can set upper and lower limits. You can run it through different tables. Uh, it's going through a linear table now. We could run it through a cosine table, which looks like this. You can make your own tables and save them. Uh, you can pick different sources to have different things happen. Here's our string three fret. We're going to give it a little more gain here. Uh, here we go. Add a negative offset. We'll bring that up positively. And now mapping the fret to that position. And again, you can have a different mapping on each of the strings and you save that along with the preset. So when you recall the VST effects while preset, it selects all of the VSTs, puts them to the programmed setting that you've created, recalls the mod assign, and also recalls the modulation. You have pans for each string, loudness controls for each string, and then an extra bonus of three VSTs here in the master section. This is virtually unlimited in what you can do. You can have different sounds on each string. You can use um, things like guitar rig and various other complete effects systems and put one on each string of the guitar. Uh, we think you'll come to enjoy the effects wall as much as we have enjoyed making it for you. Thanks.